10 p.m. and I'm in my pool as usual except it's nighttime and I wanted to talk a little bit about the loneliness epidemic and how I feel very lonely this summer and how summer can be very lonely for a lot of people and right now I wouldn't say I have a lot of friends and I often get really envious seeing people out and about in like large groups of friends because I never really had that and if I did I always felt left out I always kind of felt like the odd one out whether that was just a projection or the truth that's up in the air for the last year year and a half I have lost quite a bit of friends um, a little bit by my own doing in the sense that I chose not to have them in my life anymore and part of me questions whether all of these friend groups that I see out and about if they really all feel that close to each other or do I just see them and I think man I wish I had that but I kind of project my own fantasy of what friendships should look like when in reality they're very complicated and difficult and there's so many layers and factors to them and of course like I wish I had that large group of friends where we could just like go out and have fun especially now that I'm a lot more extroverted like it would be nice to have that and to have those people I could just go out with and just do dumb stuff with because when I was younger I was introverted and so I didn't really care to do any of that but now that I'm 25 I'm like I need to do stuff <laughs> I feel like I'm missing out so I'm in my pool and there are people walking by with their friends just laughing and chatting and I feel sad because I could just have like a group of friends over and just have them with me here and just enjoy time together and then I wonder if we're just too picky about our friendships you know do we just cut people out of our lives without really giving them a say in the matter is this how actual friendships are like or does that exist like a soul tribe people that you have this really deep intimacy with where you feel like you could be your utter true self with them and them with you. And you can just have fun and not take things too seriously. Does that exist? Could that exist? Or is that just me romanticizing friendship? I don't know. Because I know that such a thing exists because if it didn't, people wouldn't be talking about it. But then my perspective of what friendship is could be different to somebody else. So for those that are thinking, oh, well, the loneliness epidemic, it's all our fault. And kind of, it is kind of our fault because, well, we're a lot more picky. Uh, we have a lot more choices, sure. But also we have the courage to stand up for ourselves even if that takes years too. Although I don't regret leaving those friendships behind, it still makes me miss having people around. So then it begs the question, are we better off alone? Or are we better off with bad company? I don't know. I mean, part of me thinks I'm better off alone, but we're social creatures. We need people around us. People give us purpose. And I know people give me purpose. So for those of you who are having a lonely summer, we're hanging out. So could we be better in choosing our friends? Yeah. Could we be better at lowering down our expectations, yeah. But also, we should pick the people that we're surrounded with wisely. Yeah, you're your own individual person, but the people around you are very important too. 
for those of you that are feeling lonely this summer, welcome. <laughs> look I am not here to create a parasocial relationship okay this is not what's happening here <laughs> so I'm just saying for those of you that are alone this summer or feel lonely and want to go out and have fun I hear you I hear you and no matter what's the reason no matter if you have no friends or you feel misunderstood or you feel that nobody gets you or you just don't have anybody, I hear ya. And it's okay to be sad about it. And it's also okay to enjoy things on your own because at the same time, although it gets lonely, you are your best company. You might not know it yet, but you are once you get rid of having high expectations for yourself you can never ever be disappointed because whatever you choose to do you don't have to wait or worry about another person so i get it if you feel alone and that's okay because that's our generation's biggest struggle it's finding a place to belong so, if you're lonely this summer, just like me, welcome, welcome, and just know that it'll be okay, hopefully, can't guarantee that, but we can hope it'll be okay, <laughs> that's it, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day <laughs> or night, I guess.